the outcome of this uncontrolled study called aging isn't that glamorous. We know this with the psychological problems, the metabolic problems, the behavioral problems, issues of dementia that we're seeing in an aging population. Not that we could completely eradicate those because age does happen, the clock does turn, it is irreversible, but the way that time plays out chronologically on our body is highly variable. And that concept of healthy aging, which starts probably preconceptionally, now is what we're learning, that the preparation for the sperm meeting the egg, that biological magic event that creates the pluripotentiality of life, that aging process is already set in motion partially in the preparation of that sperm to meet that egg. And it then follows all the way through fetal development into infancy and throughout the remainder of our life. And that's that epigenetic process that we're now learning more, much about. That in school, I was told that epigenetic stops the moment that fetal development stops. And then we're kind of fixed in stone from then on. Whatever the genes are, that's what you're going to get. If you got the bad luck of the draw, what was you? If you happen to get a good hand dealt to you, good luck. But now we're recognizing actually this epigenetic remodeling occurs throughout all of our life on what we bathe over our genes in terms of experience. Our thoughts, our attitudes, our beliefs, how we eat, how we act, who we interact with, and that directly relates to our biological aging.